Hi, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about how I keep my paperwork as an extreme minimalist, also while I have kids as well. I'm going to talk about my paperwork in different sections. I'm going to talk about what I personally own, like if I didn't have kids, I didn't have other types of paperwork, then this would just be what I personally own. There's a bit more paperwork than maybe like if you were living on the road or if you were living rented, although I don't actually know because I've never been in rented accommodation, so I don't know what the paperwork looks like in that situation. I also don't work right now, so I don't have any job contracts or anything like that that I need to keep in paper format. I am very particular about paperwork. I hate dealing with it, I hate storing it, I hate looking after it, I hate the worry of what if there's a fire or a flood and I can't get access to paperwork. So every piece of paperwork that I show you today, I have stored on my laptop or in Gmail. So with that said, let's get started. So this is my personal paperwork and my house related paperwork. There are about six pieces for my personal paperwork and then 13 pieces for my house related paperwork. I can't show you exactly what they are because obviously it's for privacy reasons but I have them all separated into slippery fish and I actually have some spare because I just decluttered some paperwork and I really love that they're all easy to access and stuff. I did think about combining them all into one. I hate paperwork, I hate having to figure it all out and go through it and stuff so I'd rather just keep it like this separated but if I really need it to, I would but I don't so I keep it like this. Next we have The Little Red Book. This is a famous book in the UK that every child under five has I think when they're over five, you can declutter this and I will look forward to the day that I don't have to have this, but for now I keep it. And it's been really handy the few times I've needed it to look at like illnesses and like to check his weight and height and things. And obviously every time I've had a health visitor, which I've had quite a lot more than most people because of having social services in the past, um, I can say that now. So um, this is quite heavily filled compared to maybe if you didn't have a health visitor all the time. And it's just really handy to have to like take to the doctors or to take to A&E and stuff like that. So this is staying until he's older and then I can declutter it. Which in terms of like the bulk of my paperwork, um, this is obviously really bulky. So that's quite exciting. The next set of paperwork I have is for my sons. I have their birth certificates and a duplicate for each of them. And then this right here is the court paperwork for the final care plan for my first son. I don't know if I had one in paper form for my second. Maybe because the outcome was a positive outcome, they didn't do it. Or maybe they sent it over Gmail and I read it and deleted it because I've got access to him. I, I don't know exactly. I did delete the final care plan in 2016 along with the 2000 pieces of paperwork that I had. But I decided to get it back because A, I needed it at one point and it was so so frustrating trying to find all the pieces and make sure we're in the right document and in the right way and trying to send them over and stuff was just such a hassle that I'd rather have it in paper format and also in the future I plan to like need it um I really wish I didn't need it if you're a parent you probably know what I'm trying to say without saying it um so I will keep it they will both have their birth certificates given to them when they're 18 so I won't need them anymore and that would be really nice as well. A chunk of my paperwork is within this little category which as you can tell is actually not that chunky at all. And then last but not least um, is my mother's life insurance paperwork which is really morbid to have but I'm really glad I have them. I think my sister's got my dad's one because that will take a lot of weight off my mind when that like time comes trying to find out like, where it is. And I think because I'm minimal with my paperwork, I think my mum hopefully trusts me enough to like keep it, you know, looked after and, and in the right spot and everything. So I have her paperwork and it's like 14 pages plus this booklet, which has like all the rules and regulations and stuff on it. But this is to help with the funeral costs of my mum. So that's really nice to have like that stress taken out for when that time comes. And then last but not least, it's not paperwork. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Just the paperwork that comes with my carpet cleaner. Uh, because I've just bought it recently and I have no idea how to use it. Once I know what I'm doing, I'll declutter it. But for right now, this is what I have. And just to be full transparent with you guys. And then I have one little first class stamps. And then just some envelopes for 
when I need them. I also have a piece of paper on the back of this that just gives me some details for my bank. Um, the Healthy Start card, which you get in the UK if you have a child under five. And then apparently I've supposed to put my universal credit password on here, but I didn't. So I should probably do that at some point. And then on the back of this, I've got contact numbers for um, my close friend, for my close family and friends. And then I think that's it. I'm just going to go to the fridge and check if I've got anything. Yeah, I do. I have a piece of paper that I need to swap out with another piece of paper that I've already shown you. And then um, I have, how can I do this without showing you the numbers? Then I have, um, you can't see it properly, mine and Harry's safety plan. This is what was given to me when social services uh, left us. It's just a plan that I can give to everybody else. It's laminated and it just tells myself and everyone what to do in an emergency if my mental health deteriorates because obviously that was their main concern. Um, and it's just got all their details on there and it just tells me exactly what to do so I don't have to think about it. They don't have to think about it and we can just deal with it right away. And I love this. I think everyone um, in the whole world, especially if you've got kids or like a vulnerable um, adult, you should have a safety plan written down like for everyone to have for when things happen so that you know what to do. It brings a number of pieces of paper that I own to 84 pieces, which is amazing because my goal with paperwork is to always, always, always keep it down to 100. And obviously, as you can tell, the bulk of that is actually not mine. It's my son's or my mum's, but it's fine. It is what it is. So, you know, I can't exactly get rid of them. So, yeah. Um, that makes me really happy and if you're wondering why I have so little paperwork it's because I did my research found out what I don't need to keep and how long I need to keep things for and some of this stuff actually I might be able to get rid of and technically I can get rid of for some of it put it into a digital format somewhere but I just like having these specific things uh, in paper format for now if I was to travel around the world if I suddenly had to move somewhere in emergency or for whatever reason, for some reason, I had to get it into digital format only. I totally would, and that's absolutely fine with me. But for now, it's all paperwork, and that's absolutely fine. I do have a passport. I don't know where it is, but I need to find it because um, I'm going to be going on holiday in 2025 abroad. So I need to get that sorted out, but I guess that brings me up to 84, 85 pieces of paperwork if you count passports as paperwork. I still paperwork. It's just a little plastic wallet that I keep it in. I'd love to get a fire safety or water safety container to put them all in, um, but I don't have the funds for that right now. But yeah, it's just a little plastic wallet. Really easy. Um, and I've got loads of room in here even after all those pieces of paper. So if I needed to have more paperwork for some reason, um, I'd just keep it in here. I've had more paperwork than this, and especially since 2016 when I got rid of 2,000 pieces of paperwork. But uh, I just declutter it as I don't need it anymore, and when I've read it and done with it. And I address paperwork as soon as it comes into the house. And if I need dates, um, like I've got a letter for an appointment, and I've got that in my diary. And as soon as that appointment's over, it goes in the bin, so it's separate from my like major need to have keep with me all the time paperwork. Like I said, my personal piece of the paperwork is about 24 pieces, I think. I can't remember the exact numbers. And the rest, uh, up to 86, is my mum's and my two sons. So, yeah. You don't need to have lots of paperwork, guys. I know people who have those massive metal containers um, for paperwork. Not the ones that you carry, but the ones that you can't actually lift. And I just think it's ridiculous to have all that paperwork unless you're working in an office and like have to have that stuff for that reason or you own your own business I don't see the need for all that paperwork and I dread going through paperwork when my mum and my dad pass away like it's something I'm not looking forward to because it's something that you really just want to put in the bin but you can't you have to sit through and go through every single one so I feel a bit sorry for people that have to do that and I'm just glad that I don't have to do that anymore I do want to say, um, before we go, that I really recommend Evernote. It's an app on your phone for scanning paperwork that you don't necessarily need a paper format, but you want to keep. And it's also really good for photos as well. I used to store all of my photos on my phone, but I've recently swapped to having 
a photo album for all my photos plus this like book of photos that I got as a present for Harry. Um, so that's probably what the next video is going to be is to show you those things and to explain why I now prefer having physical copies of photos versus digital because although like I said digital you know photographs and paperwork does take up a lot less space and I really 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 love that option and I did used to do that I don't anymore and one of those reasons is screen time I don't want to be on my phone as much as I can and also accessibility to show uh, people that need those pieces of paperwork because I try to do it digitally and it doesn't work I do all have all of that on my phone but you know sometimes you do need it in person it's just a lot less hassle um, and also for sending things off to benefits or like I said passports or anything like that sometimes it's just easier to do it by paper the only thing I need from papers is a, is a updated photo of me and I need to do that for my passport anyway so I'll have that piece of paper to add in but that's it um, I could do probably a separate video on like photos and paperwork and sentimental sort of stuff maybe as a whole like in separate entire video like about why I do it and stuff but for now I'm just showing you because I think it's nice to see the physical proof that you can not need lots of paperwork so with that being said I see you next time